Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to get into all the latest Disney Ellie Forever series of two releases, including new fashion packs, new accessory packs, and our very first Disney Ellie Forever boy fashion doll. So stay tuned and let's get into first it. First off, I found this information on youloveit.com. So if you want to, you know, if you're wondering where you might be able to get them, go check out the website. And it, there's going to be a couple of links there where I also found the other stock photos so the new disney early forever dolls 2023 obviously we have also the new ursula bambi mickey mouse and uh stitch dolls that are actually different because they're made by jack specific now for those uh there aren't um official stock photos yet there's only like a couple of blurry ones so i'm gonna save them for another video so in this video it's just gonna be all about the official disney store released um new things so new disney early forever fashion dolls collection expands this fall with four new Disney characters inspired dolls, including Ursula, Bambi, Mickey Mouse, and Stitch. In new collection, we will see first ever Disney Ellie Forever Boy doll, Aladdin fan. Each doll comes with a mix and match of fashions and accessories. This means that in the collection, we will see villains as well as other Disney characters, not only princesses. Also, in this release, numerous fashion and accessory packs become available, including Disney Park Rides inspired fashion packs. Release date is actually um, early July, so it's already already live on Disney Store. Um, dot com. So that's really of cool. Of course, we have to start off with the brand new Disney Ellie Forever uh, First Ever Boy fashion doll. Uh, and this is a Aladdin uh, inspired uh, fashion doll. He even looks like Aladdin. Like he actually, like with the girl fashion dolls, they didn't really look like the inspired, uh, you know, characters that are all Disney princesses. But here, the actual doll character he looks like aladdin with the hair and face and eyes everything so that's kind of uh i feel like on purpose probably <laughs> but uh it's not an aladdin doll it's a aladdin fan so uh really cool he comes in the same packaging uh like as with the girl dolls and he also comes with the same amount of stuff a jacket a little accessory hat and also a balloon that includes a mystery accessory uh, that has not changed uh from the previous lineup so it's the same it's the same lineup of accessories that you can get so he looks really cute and i'm pretty sure if you are in any way a fan of these dolls and you've seen on instagram some people finding him early you've seen the real life pictures so this is not necessarily new um but i don't think i talked about him so yeah he looks really good i think the body uh also looks really good as it's, it's like very it's a good equivalent to the girl fashion doll they both have ankle articulation as well um and uh i think they are both the same height which is also really good because that means that they will also be able to share some clothing items which we'll see later on with some fashion packs uh speaking of what he's wearing here the abu t-shirt the shorts uh, the pan uh the um, the shoes the accessories uh the little fanny pack the shirt with agarba i mean the sunset little uh, the sunset color palette is really vibrant very gorgeous and a hat <laughs> it looks so cool so i think overall he's a very good first introduction for um the first ever boy fashion doll for italy forever i hope they bring out many more boy dolls i something tells me that this is going to be like a tryout boy doll for disney and if he sells well then they're going to do more so i hope y'all go out and buy him if you want to uh because then we'll get more for sure so uh because i definitely feel like there's so much potential with more boy fashion dolls so i really hope that he's just the first of many. next we have our first fashion pack and this one's actually a specific for the boy doll this is the um beast fashion pack it's themed after the beast and also you can put it on a uh girl fashion doll as you as we can see here it fits both uh body types which is good again it's like that means to me that also some of the girl fashion packs might fit the boy doll so that's really cool that they're interchangeable and i i really like the um little first strap <laughs> um and i think the beast fashion pack with the hoodie it's, it's giving grunge it's giving moody but also like really slick and cool so uh definitely fits the beast vibe i just kind of wish that they would have chosen a more um appealing picture for the box art of the beast <laughs> But, then you know. here we have another boy fashion pack. This is actually themed after Dr. Facilier, the villain in Princess and the Frog, which uh, is really surprising because I don't think we ever really get much merchandise for 
Dr. Facilier. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, it's a very neon themed uh, ensemble, very neon pink, coral, blue. Uh, it's a hoodie, shirt, shorts, socks, shoe, fanny pack. A lot of things here included, so it really looks awesome. Now this next one, I feel like it's gonna be a popular one for most people. It's the Princess Jasmine themed dress. This is like a little summer, uh, summer dress it's very fluffy very flowy you know it looks very um very comfortable you know it definitely gives me like summer vibes and it's perfect perfectly jasmine themed with the peacock feathers as the outer layer there's actually two layers on the dress one that's opaque underneath and then one that's like very sheer uh, with the peacock feathers print it looks very cool it's reminding me heavily of the uh, live action jasmine outfit that she wore in the movie so that's really cool and i feel like a lot of people are going to probably use this dress for kind of like a live action live action jasmine because it just looks so cool um also the front the top of the top in gold that gold section actually is shaped like agraba i just noticed that that's really cool and the heels also look really cool and the purse also has a little um kind of like a painting of princess jasmine with uh like with a tree so that looks really cool i think she looks amazing in this dress it's going to be a popular one for next, sure next we have a princess bell themed dress here also giving summer vibes it's a very similar structure but this is very fluffy uh shorter much shorter a different design uh and structure uh it's really cute it's like a little little bell shape right it's a, a nice print and uh, nice accessories a little book bag as well with some nice uh printing on the front it actually looks like a book bag like it looks amazing uh the sunglasses like the little coin purse or whatever i feel like it's a very cute little um uh ensemble also with the eiffel tower necklace like how cute is that i feel like this is going to be a very cute piece as well the dress is very simple i will say but it, it works i guess like if something simple at least then make it really well um and i think this is very simple but it works really well next we have i believe our first merida fashion pack uh or any f inclusion of merida at all uh it's yeah it's it's, it's a merida fashion pack <laughs> uh this one has a lot of pieces it's ha it has a little tank top a hoodie a skirt uh kilt looking skirt a bag sneakers jewelry belt sunglasses or just reading glasses uh and some earrings uh it, it's all very like merida colored so like very a lot of blue greens um and the two uh you know little motifs on the tank top and on the hoodie um are obviously also bear themed so that's really cute uh i think it very f well fits the doll uh and i like the accessories they're very gold and i feel like they really work with the belt and the, the skirt. It's really cute. Next, we also have our first inclusion of Princess Anna here. It's a fashion pack and it's also very pink centric. Uh, it's kind of a weird mixture of like winter gear, but also kind of like very casual and also kind of summery because, you know, the sh it's a short skirt and I don't think that you would wear that in winter unless like with some tights on. So it's kind of giving a mixture of winter with the puffy jacket, but also like summer with the skirt. Uh, but also I think that's a good little mix up of vibes because that means you're going to be able to um very well you know casually throw together different different types of outfits with different pieces here uh the shirt with sven olaf on the bag the socks with little pom-poms the little headband that's molded the sunglasses or reading glasses um i overall really like just the coloring with the pink and blues here it's really cute next we're getting into one of the new fashion packs that are actually inspired by a um disney uh, attraction uh you know like the disney um ride space mountain here so this is a very casual fit uh it's very um it also has a lot of pieces it has a cropped hoodie a shirt underneath and then very casual like um you know like very casual sweatpants uh it's a re very cool ensemble i think i love the cropped sweater uh the most just because it's like very realistic like i would wear that please thank you um the mickey ears also the little notebook i think it works really well also just the the, the violet here that they use it's a very pretty shape. next up we have a new moana fashion pack this one's also very beach themed there's a pair of shorts and a little top which could be also just like a little two-piece uh bikini like bathing suit that's really cute or again it just could just be like a really casual like beach attire uh 
a cute little pair of wedges sandals and in orange a cute little bag with painted details sunglasses jewelry a hat uh and a poncho really cool i like the poncho the most i like the way the fabric it looks very like a nice quality fabric um and she looks great with the poncho on and also with it off i think both ways it looks really good uh and this is just going to be a very cool um fashion pack for you know like summer Next up, we have another fashion pack inspired by a Disney Parks ride. It's the Mad Tea Party. Uh, very bright colors here with the skirt. I like the fabric that they used. The Mickey ears, the shirt, the jewelry, the purse, the boots. Uh, and the jacket looks really cool with the print as well. It's obviously inspired by the uh, art that and the drawings that was used in the actual Alice movie, I believe. So really cool. Uh, All together, it does look a little bit... Um, um, too, too much maybe I don't know I, I think it works but I, I kind of feel like the Mickey ears could have maybe been in a pink like if they were in the pink shade like the skirt I feel like that would have worked better because they're in purple but there's no purple in the outfit so I'm just a little bit confused but uh it's supposed to be messy perhaps it, it is supposed to be it is a it, it's an Alice in Wonderland look and uh the Mad Hatter you know it's it's a very messy color so maybe it's supposed to be like that I don't know but uh, it's a it's a cute little ensemble next we have another theme park uh inspired um theme park another disney ride <laughs> inspired um you know fashion pack this one's uh inspired by the big thunder mountain railroad okay i'm not familiar uh, but it's definitely very inspired by like the western scene i mean look at this this cute little denim jacket with this beige you know tight in the front shirt uh these really cute shorts that are a little bit distressed at the bottom but i feel like it's supposed to be like that and the, and the, i also love the um shoes they're like beige uh they're brown and they have like nice openings at the front uh the purse has some dangly bits as well and the mickey ears are in orange see like this is what i mean it this works well there's orange hints throughout the outfit and it works well with the ears with the last one i just feel like the purple came out of nowhere but this is a, a really cute little look again very western inspired very you know hot coachella looking so <laughs> it's a cute little look next we have i believe the last fashion pack that's inspired by the uh by another disney attraction which is the haunted mansion uh ride so that's very cool this is probably also going to be very uh popular because of the um kind of like the wednesday vibes that I, I get from this outfit and I feel like a lot of people will probably use some of these pieces to you know make their own Wednesday doll but it's a cute ensemble with a nice um sheer puffy sleeve and then a shirt underneath uh that is separate which is cool and then um we have a skirt that's kind of pleated and it has a nice print in blue uh we have some uh really high socks in black they have a nice um there's like a nice texture going on there. It's like kind of like sheer. It's very interesting. Uh, it matches the the black uh, puffy sleeve. So that's really cool. And then the shoes match the collar. The, the shoes are really nice. And then the bag uh, and the ears also really are, are really cool. So I feel like this is just going to be a very popular one just because it, it really works well. And the pieces just are probably going to work really well with just different types of doll customs now we're getting into some of the accessory packs there's actually only three this time around but it's really cool these oh and by the way the fashion packs cost $14.99 and the accessory packs cost $16.99 I believe and the uh, fashion dolls cost 20 something so on shop disney again so this first one accessory pack uh is aerial themed and it's kind of like a beach setup like you have the fold-up chair you have the little bar barbecue setup with some hamburgers a spatula ketchup bottle or a spice bottle um two cans of beer <laughs> question mark or soda uh a sunscreen bottle and a sebastian floaty which people have been going crazy over so that's a really cute piece to have a towel as well um and the doll here is wearing the moana uh beach uh fashion pack so that's why it actually works really well here as well so um this is a very very fun accessory pack uh you get a lot of 
cute little aerial themed uh, pieces, but also I think in general, like aside for the uh, fold up chair and a towel and the, um, the obviously the Sebastian floaty, aside for those pieces, all of the other pieces are pretty much just like neutral. You can wear, you can use them for whatever. The next so. accessory pack is also themed after the Space Mountain ride. And this one's actually like kind of like a, um, like um, let's go outside and look at the stars kind of setup. So we have a sleeping bag, uh, a pillow, a mug, a popcorn bottle, a lantern, a little um, notebook or like a DVD case, a Fermos bottle, uh, a um, telescope setup, and uh, the doll is also wearing the Space Mountain fashion pack, which also once again really fits perfectly obviously the colors match uh so this is a really fun little setup as well and lastly we have the bell accessory pack and this is kind of like travel theme because there's a suitcase involved a little bag uh, that you can put the puppy in which is adorable i mean come on how cute uh a passport a laptop headphones a little cushion for your neck and also some uh utensils like you know toilet utensils to put in the um to store in the luggage which i assume can also be opened up so this is uh, also going to work perfectly with the bell fashion pack uh, the dress print is not the exact same but it matches quite quite well so uh it's seamless this is a really cute little fashion pack maybe there's like less things included here i feel like but overall um it's like kind of like a travel set, so it's really cute. Phew, okay, so those are overall all of the new Disney Ellie Forever items being added to the collection. This is not really called a series two, but it, it is kind of like a series two to me at least. And obviously we're also getting the Jack specific, uh, you know, Stitch, Mickey, Ursula, and Bambi dolls that are, again, they're made by Jax. They're not made by Disney store. That's why they also don't have the inset eyes anymore. And they also have two outfits. So they're different a little bit. It. that's why they're also not included on the disney store page with all the other releases from this new series uh, wave second wave uh overall there is like um 16 new items in this wave which is um it's a, a lot especially if you're a completionist and you're gonna get them all uh but the prices overall uh, are pretty good i guess and they should be on sale also in like a couple months so i feel like you know pretty pretty good solid but it's still expensive especially with all the other doll releases happening so really it comes down to if you were a fan of the first wave and are you gonna get anything from this wave let me know down below <laughs> but that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses